Hey, what's up everybody? It's Don, and today, today's finally the day. That's right, the trilogy has become complete, because we now have Vader Immortal episodes 1, 2, and 3 in virtual reality, and I can't tell you how excited I am to put it all together. So, with that in mind, since it is about the length of a small movie, I decided to stitch them all together and do this as a no commentary video, especially for those who don't have VR, since this is a VR exclusive and you might want to kind of see this story. So, I hope you enjoy it as much as I enjoyed playing it. Let's get in there and let's check it out. Their spice back. We gotta jump to hyperspace and we're dead. Come on, flip the fire pack switches for the hyperdrive. Alright, hyperdrive controls are active. Make the jump to light speed. Nice one, Captain! Oh, that never gets old. Well, as soon as we offload these spice crates at Shadow Market, we are sitting pretty. You know, maybe then you can make those uh, repulsor lift upgrades you've been promising me forever. You know, and forever and ever. You know, it looks like we're going to be in hyperspace for a while here, so feel free to go back and check our loot. You name it. Sky's the limit. Some of our previous and future ports of call. Ah, the hand of Saint Scorpus. Oh, that treble on Jetta just to steal an artifact that nobody even wanted. I mean, how was I supposed to know the locals considered a curse? I don't know everything. A little heads up from the hand would have been nice. Oh, look at that. Remember the Vinta Harvest Classic? I know I do. Because I've never seen a human able to handle a pod razor before. Nobody there can. Somehow, you did it. You were terrible at it and we lost a ton of credits, but still, you know what? An accomplishment. Small. However, please don't do it again. Oh, Scrag. Looks like we took some damage back there. Well, I try to reroute the power. Why don't you go ahead and scan the ship? Well, looks like the main sensor antenna's been damaged. All right, let's switch to backup. Okay, let's do the next one. Switching to defense systems. Well, the deflector shields are totally offline. One more hit and we would have been toast. Let's shut them down until we can get them repaired. Wrong, Captain. Let's go check it out. What in the galaxy? That's impossible. Something's pulled us out of hyperspace and put us down in the Atravis sector. We're in the outer rim. Thank you. 
This is Admiral Carius of the Galactic Empire. Surrender control of your ship immediately. This is ZOE3, first mate on the Windfall. Zoe to my friends, uh, there must be some mistake. Admiral, the Windfall is a humble salvage vessel. Anything short of immediate compliance will result in your destruction. My bad, Admiral. Sorry about that. Slaving our ship's guidance to your Imperial control now. Ah, oh, scrag. Well, we didn't do anything that bad. Lucifer's a mining planet. Why are the Imperials taking us there? this captain. You wipe the ship's now block. I'm officially worried, Captain. Open your doors. Oh, oh, uh, just, just a moment. Sorry, we're. Hi. A, th a thousand. Don't move, scum. You've caused us considerable inconvenience, smuggler. Smugglers? Who said we were smugglers? Silence destroyed. Take them both to the holding cells. Admiral Carius. In a moment, Darth Vader, Lord of this monolith, will give you a task at which you will undoubtedly fail. A word of advice. Do not anger Vader. I loathe cleaning these cells after interrogation. Cooperate, and I promise you a merciful death when he's through with you. You are not the first candidate to fall under his scrutiny, and you will likely not be the last. why I have brought you here. You are required to perform one simple task. Open this configuration and I will spare your life.
This is the one I've been searching for. Voice ID, Admiral Gable Carius. I will send for you shortly. What are you talking about? Also, please introduce yourself. Who are you? Vylip Fulma, lore master of my cavern clan. Uh-huh. And why should we trust you? Do you want to get out of here? Then listen. Now that Vader's found you, he's in reach of enormous power. He means to conquer death itself. Countless lives are in danger, including your own. You must escape this planet. Yeah, way ahead of you on that, Lore Master. Except I can't reach it. Here, use this to access the main breaker. Wait, you have a hydro spanner? I don't want to ask, but where have you been hiding that? Don't tell. D you know what? I don't want to know. You need to insert the hydro spanner into that access port. <laughs> That sounds promising. Wow, you did it, Captain. Thanks, um, Vlip, Violet, was it? I was technically not listening. The door is activated by voice print. Okay, I can no offense, but this is not our first jailbreak. Step aside, please, and keep quiet. I can simulate the Admiral's voice. Voice ID, Admiral Cable Carius. Voice ID, Admiral Cable Carius. Voice ID, Admiral Cable Carius. <laughs> this way, hurry. This lift will take us to the hangar and your ship, but we need to override the security. Ah, perfect. Good, good, good. I think we may make it. Hey! How did you- ah! uh! Or any more guards arrive. There's the windfall. That's our ship. We gotta find a way down there. Quickly, let's move. This will be swarming with troopers in seconds. This is Admiral Karras. All personnel alert. Prisoners have escaped. Lock down the hangar and secure all exits. Ah, oh, we'll never get to our ship now. You'll have to find the priestess of my clan. Down in the caverns beneath us. She's your only way off Mustafar now. Take my lower totem. It will help her find you. I'll hold them off! Find the priestess! She's your only home! You gotta move! The elevators are going into lockdown. The only route is via these private chambers above us. No telling what's up there. But... It can't be worse than this, right? Secure stations! Secure stations! Prisoners have escaped! Locking out officers, elevators, and doors! Ugh. We're sitting 
logins in here. We'll have to find another way out. I can't override the controls. Can you try? Looks like we could climb up here. Word of advice. Best not to look down. All right, from here on out, can we just stick to places that don't require climbing, please? Route, we can get out through those shutters. Okay, I think I can activate them, but uh, I'm gonna need a minute. Will you cover me? training program. Level beginner. To block an attack, hold your lightsaber still and at an angle across the path of the enemy strike. Replicate the sequence indicated by the hologram to block the attacks. Okay? Once in position, try to hold your weapon in place. Try again. Once in position, try to hold your weapon in place. Try again. Correct. Once more. Two, attacking. After blocking a series of enemy strikes, they become vulnerable. That's when you attack. For a successful strike, swing in a wide, straight arc. Follow the example arc to perform your own strikes. Now, change the strike angle as the hologram shows. Good. Once more. Good form. Lesson complete. Lesson three. Combination attacks. 
to keep your opponent off guard, you must assume a different angle for each strike. Now strike after blocking these attacks. <laughs> Lesson 3 complete. Final lesson, blaster deflection. You can deflect Blastifier back to its source. Defend yourself against the training remote. Swing the lightsaber back towards your opponent. You can put the blaster fire back towards where it came from. Successful beginner training program complete. Prepare for combat. sure you were dead. <laughs> Come on, there's no time to celebrate. I found a way out. Yes. Okay. Huh. Found a way. And it's a long and out. Cutting slower. Unlike the others, this one activated the artifact. Corvax? Is that what Violet meant by her bloodline? This way. With the candidate's help, you will be able to 
the Sanctum, you will gain mastery over death itself, which you see is finally within your grasp. Leave me now. Violet, say again. You'll have to fight the priestess of my clan. Down in the caverns beneath us. She's your only way off Mustafar now. Take my lord totem. It will help her find you. Cavern, priestess, totem. Is there any version of this plan that doesn't end up with us being dead? Captain? Whatever happens, it's been a good run. Wire this thing. Come over and cover me. Intruders on the excavation dock! It's the prisoners! Get them! Okay, hit the blaster fire with your lightsaber, just like you did on the train floor. Spread out, hold the fire!
My guess is that's where we'll find the priestess. like the welcoming committee. I hope this priestess shows up. Hey, the totem's glowing. That creepy guy said you're a descendant of Lady Corvax. Her. I bet this was her castle. It appears Vega has finally found his candidate. Um, hi. Are you the priestess? Violet said we should give you this, that you'd help us escape. We don't have much time. I must help you understand. Once, our world Mustafa was green, filled with life. Lady Kovax abided here with her husband, Sir Darwin, living in peace with my people. The Bright Star was our most sacred object. Its energy nourished our planet. One day, our world was attacked. Lady Kovac's husband fell in battle. She stole the bright star, believing it would be so her husband to life. She created the Eon End, the terrible machine. It reduced our world to the wasteland you see now. The Bright Star is hidden beneath us, somewhere within Lady Kovac's sanctum. Veda has the only key. But he needs a descendant of the ladies to wield it. Veda is here. Help him retrieve the Bright Star. Our best chance is to follow and take it from him. In our hands, the Bright Star could heal our planet. Wait, retrieve the Bright Star? Oh, hold on, that wasn't the deal. No, 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 no. Circumstances have changed. No, Violet Destiny said, has Violet bound us, us together planet. now, and our future is in your hands. Fate has chosen you. Oh, great. Thanks, thanks for stopping by. Because you know what I wanted? I wanted a lot of fate. I thought that would be fun, you know, some... Some future. Oh my. Lord, Lord Vader, it wasn't our fault. The Mustafarian forced us to help him. Do not insult me with excuses. You know what I seek. Take the artifact key. Open the sanctum lock now. Thank <laughs> you. 
This is the end of yourself well. I will not be denied. You will help seize the Bright Star. I sense a latent force ability within you. Follow me and I will instruct you in its ways. You will need the force if you are to survive the path ahead. Bright star is hidden beneath us, somewhere within Lady Kovac's sanctum. Vader has the only key, but he needs a descendant of the ladies to wield it. Corvax? That creepy guy said you're a descendant of Lady Corvax. Is that what Violet meant about your bloodline? You will be able to unlock Lady Corvax's sanctum. What you seek is finally within your grasp. I will not be denied. You will help seize the Bright Star. I sense a latent force ability within you. Follow me and I will instruct you in its ways. You will need the force if you are to survive the path ahead. herself, your ancestor. Like you, she was force-sensitive, but she was weak, crippled by sentiment. Take heed you don't make the same mistake. The force is more powerful than you can possibly imagine. The force reveals mysteries that make the weak turn away in fear. If the Force is truly your servant, you can 
unlock the secrets of life and death. Lady Corvax's devices could only be controlled by her or her descendants. Your blood makes you powerful, but you will need to learn the ways of the Force. Your training begins now. Now, reach out your hand. Use the Force to take control of this stone. Sense the force within you. Focus. It is responding to your bloodline. Use the force to place the stone. You shall promise, but you have much to learn. Defend yourself. Your fear is holding you back. Conquer it. Embrace your anger. the power of the Force. We will resume your training later. To you, my future descendant hearing me now, Tread carefully. My husband received a mortal blow in battle. Desperate to revive him, I created a machine to harness the Bright Star, the Mustafarian's life-giving crystal. The machine created terrible destruction. Mustafar and all who dwell here paid for my transgressions. You, my descendant, may have a chance to heal what I wrought. I have hidden the Bright Star. Seek it in my husband's tomb. Use justly. It could be most of our salvation. Please, help me. Lady Corvax did not understand what she created. With the power of the Eon Engine, I will become unstoppable.
abilities thus far are sorely lacking. In order to feed his insatiable hunger. You must find the bright star before Vader does. Return it to the Mustafarians. Entrust it in their keeping. And perhaps they can heal this cursed world. I have suspended time, but only briefly. You must climb. The tomb containing the bright star lies above. I am weakening. Up here, because 
I don't understand why you never mentioned that you had the Force. I knew it! The moment I saw you with Vader, I knew you were special. You can summon the life current. I'm not gonna lie, Captain. I thought for sure you were toast. Oh, and check this out! Violet let me keep his totem. He deputized me, which technically means I sort of outrank you. Sorry, bud. Thanks to you, we are closer to the Bright Star than ever. Lord Corvax's tomb is near. I can show you the way, but we have to move quickly. Vader must not get to the crypt before we do. Ugh, everything's hurry, hurry with this guy. He won't even slow down to hunt for loot. I've seen a ton, which I would like to bring with me. Sentinel. They were left to guard this place. Machines like you. Oh, an ancestor. Move on. That door should be a way out. Contraption? Man, I think Philip's cracking up. Let's get him his bright star. Get the criff off this planet.
The bright star was more powerful than all the crystals here combined. Lady Corvax created the Eon Engine to channel the bright star's energy. Uh, the destruction it unleashed reduced our planet to a wasteland. As long as outsiders desire the bright star's power, Mustafar will never be free. Marching Horde. Lady Corvax's sentinel army. I don't like the look of this place. Oh, the crypt should be that way. done by Lady Corvax. My Lady Corvax. She tried to save me from death. I was cursed. Trapped between this world and the next. Take my light sword from the statue. It will unlock the bright star. Return the bright star to the Mustafarians and I may be freed from this curse. Oh, my God. 
Wait, is it in that box thing? Thank you. This will give my people a chance of freedom. Okay, Lord Master. You got your Bright Star. And you're welcome, by the way. Once we get our ship back, let's skedaddle off this hellscape. Ah, uh, yes. We'd better get going. You think the priestess is gonna meet us here, or what? What do we do? Thank you. I am sorry. Sorry? Saving a planet is awesome! Am I right, Captain? I've never felt so- Wait. What are you sorry for? You rat. I knew we shouldn't have trusted you. No! Vader only seeks the bright star. Now that he has it, he will leave us in Enough. Did you think you could become my apprentice? You were a means to an end. But now you have outlived your usefulness. Violet. Please. No! No! You betrayed us. You betrayed everyone on Mustafar. I, I thought if we rid the planet of the Bright Star, we would finally be free. But now I see that the only path to freedom is to work together. To get the Bright Star back. We can <laughs>
It looks like an old doorway over there. If we can sneak over, maybe we can get out. <laughs> May the sleeper guide your spirit along the river of stars. Veda won't waste any time activating the Eon engine. When he does, he will destroy what little life still clings to our planet. Only you can face Veda. Our only hope is to attack his castle. Wait, you want us to take on the entire garrison? We need an army for that. You have an army. This is Admiral Carius. Surrender control of your ship. Lucifer's a mining planet. Why are the Imperials taking us there? Vader seeks the bright star. He must not succeed. Corvax? That creepy guy said you were a descendant of Lady Corvax. She stole the bright star, believing it would restore her husband to life. It reduced our world to the wasteland you see now. You were a means to an end, but now you have outlived your usefulness. A word of advice. Do not anger Vader. May the sleeper guide your spirit along the river of stars. Veda won't waste any time activating the Eon engine. When he does, he will destroy what little life still clings to our planet. Only you can face Veda. Our only hope is to attack his castle. Wait, 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 wait. You want us to take on his entire garrison? We need an army for that. You have an army. As Lady Kovac's descendant, you can command the Horde in battle. Even now, they are with you in the necropolis above. Uh, unless you can magic us up some wings. Can't really see how we're gonna make it all the way back to Vader's castle. Perhaps we can restore that ancient air skiff. What air skiff, bug eyes? That is great. Unfortunately, we lack the necessary tools. Step aside, crazy pants. If I can fix a hyperdrive, I'm sure I can repair this... whatever it is. Follow me. Go on! We got this. Well, I got this.
This platform is designed to lift us to the necropolis. However, it is not functioning. Its source of power is energy crystals. These can only be set in place by one of Kovac's blood. Vader will take the Bright Star to his chambers and activate the Eon Engine. But if we hurry, we may yet stop him. I know you did not choose this path, but our future depends on you. My people will do what we can, and I have summoned another to aid us in our struggle. The Necropolis. We are here. The Marching Horde awaits us. There they are. Lady Kovac's Marching Horde is Legion. Your Light Sword can command them. And there is one who still knows how. Lord Kovacs, thank you for heeding my call. Veda now possesses the Bright Star. How will you stop him from activating the Eon Engine? Perhaps we can destroy it. And destroy the Bright Star along with it. If we shatter the Bright Star, the life current will be free to flow through Mustafa. But first, we must reach Veda. We need the marching horde. With the horde at our side, my tribesmen can engage Veda's troops. In order to awaken the horde, you must make the signals of authority with your light sword. the light sword to follow my actions. Stroke upwards, left to right, then straight downwards. Good. The pod is responding. Now, a second gesture. This time, a three-pointed shape, a tribute to the three favors. Keep going. One final series of gestures. Sweep your light sword upwards to finish in the position of command. It is done. They now recognize you as their master. 
Only you have the power to stop Vader. Your strength will be tested, but we will help where we can. Side now? The horde is under your captain's command. But if we are to stop Vader, you must now transfer that command to me. I will lead them in our assault on the garrison. Touch your light sword to my side. Would have been nice to have our own horde. Fun while it lasted, I guess. Wanek will take you to Vader's castle. I will follow with the horde. How about this time I'm the pilot of this rust bucket? Hmm? My servos can't take any more of your piloting. Or whatever it is that you're calling it. Ancient lava flows form the network of conduits. My tribesmen mapped them out centuries ago. Without my guidance, a soul could be lost down here forever. Presuming any soul in their right mind would want to come down here. Hey, pull that thing over. Oh no. Power down your vehicle and surrender your weapon. Attack! Attack! Yeah, got 
Daylight, or lava light, we're at the surface here. Indeed. What's going on at the top of Vader's castle? We must hurry. The hangar would be open. You'll have to find a way to override the controls to let the horde inside. Okay, Wani, you get your ride back. Just don't try any fancy flying until we're off of this thing. in your hands. No pressure, bug eyes. But seriously, be careful. What did I just tell them about fancy flying? Oh, if Wannick doesn't crash that thing, I'll be amazed. Control panel right in front of you. Great idea. The hangar door should open to let the TIE fighter out. See if you can get to launch. Hey, but we got the hangar open. Hey, and there's our army! 
Well, we might actually have a chance now. That'll keep the bucket heads busy. Come on, we should get going to the elevator. Come on, let's head to the elevator while they're busy. I warned Lord Vader you couldn't be trusted. that let's go you lead the way and be ready for trouble Detonators. Don't mind if I do. Never have enough of these things. What? So I like explosives. won't stand a chance against that. It's about to get real busy down here. Thank <laughs> you. 
done. Good. Let's keep going. Fortune favors you both. Fortune had nothing to do with it, lady. That was all skill. Now, you and I must stop Vida. Buckeyes, come on, you're with me. We'll get the windfall and keep the Imperials off your back. Call me superstitious, but I'm not gonna wish you any more luck, Captain. Just hope I see you on the other side. Blessings to you both. Follow me. There are moments when even the fate of a galaxy can pivot on the actions of an individual. Remember, the bright star represents the life energies of an entire world, and life longs to be free. If the moment presents itself, do what you must to destroy the Aeon Engine. Vader has activated it. Draining my life force. You must stop him before he drains the vitality of every being on this planet. I have taken you as far as I can. But you must finish this alone. Reach inside yourself. 
find strength and remember, fate chose you for a reason. of this world are not enough. There are countless others. You! So, you survived the caverns. No matter, you arrived too late. Can you feel it? Your own life force is ebbing away. Where your ancestor failed, I will succeed. Time for one final lesson. Look upon the engine. Do you see? Your ancestor's destiny is fulfilled. of your training you recall. connects you to its power. Ah! Enough. Stop! Stop now! Come back! I love you! Love you! Love you! Love you! Love you! She was almost within reach! Now she is lost to me again! Because of you! Ah! Is that what you moment. Look, the Bright Star is vulnerable. Vader thinks his willpower can achieve what Lady Corvax could not. Instead, he will tear this world apart, trying to resurrect shadows. The Eon Engine must be destroyed. Use the Force. Reach out with your mind and summon the Light Sword. Now, before Vader can act, Plunge the light sword into the bright star. Freed me from the prison of time. And in doing so, righted our wrongs. The priestess was right. The energy from the bright star now flows through Mustafar. Slowly, our world will begin to heal.
Captain! You didn't get killed! Again! Come on, hop in! Or, I guess I'll come help you. Well, look who's awake! The whole family's back together again. Back on the windfall. As it should be. Okay, we are all set to clear the atmosphere. Finally, we can get off of this hellscape. Hey, let me take a look at that saber, would you? Something familiar about it. The design looks kind of like the totem Violet gave us. He said it dated back to Lady Corvax's time. No, no, not that way, Captain. Hold the saber straight up. Got it! By the Maker! A star chart! Wherever that is, it's way beyond the Outer Rim. It almost looks like a treasure map. What do you think? Should we check it out? We're almost clear of Mustafa. Get ready to jump to hyperspace. Punch it, Captain! We've got a treasure to find. Alright, there you have it. The trilogy is complete. And man, let me tell you, that blew my mind. So, as a child of the 70s, I never thought I would get the chance to live in the Star Wars universe for a little bit. And ILMX Labs, you guys just gave me that opportunity. So, thank you from the bottom of my heart. Now, if you guys want to check it out, I am going to throw links for all three of these in the description. I highly suggest that you do so. Man, it works with all the Oculus headsets, works in Revive, and it works in Pi Tool if you've got a Pi Max for some wide field of view, Vader. But for me, that's it. I'm done. Tired. Beat down the Dark Lord of the Sith. It's time to go to bed. This is VR Gamer Dude, Don, signing off. <laughs>